What up, what up, what up? I'm here with a photo card binder flip through update. Um, this is a voiceover. I can't refilm this, so I'll just have to do a voiceover. So if it's awkward, I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, so as you can see, I have a new cover now, and I also have two binders. Um, the pink one is my album photo cards, and then the other one that I just brought in is non-album cards, so like broadcast cards and like concert merch and stuff. So yeah, but we're gonna flip through the album card first, and I'll have a timestamp somewhere on here for my girl group stuff. But yeah, so first we're gonna start off with Pentagon. Oh my god, this is going too fast! <laughs> so we have Pentagon, um, first mini album, it's all complete. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> we have five senses. Um, I'm almost done with the solo cards. I have Yuta and Usa coming in from Japan. And I'm going to start collecting the unit cards soon. Then we have the Japanese gorilla cards. Um, uh, it's complete as well. Um, and I did add a little filler, which is what I'm pointing at right there. And, and then we have the start of ceremony. So there's Gino's ceremony card. I just have one. And then we have the rest. I do have some new ceremony cards. And then we have Demo 01. Demo 01 is coming along nicely. It's still pretty empty compared to everything else. But I finally have two cards in the brown section. And then we have the middle page of Demo 01 and Demo 02. So you have the unit cards right there. And then right here at the bottom is Demo 02. So Demo 02, I'm actually almost done. I'm just missing three cards, which is very exciting. And then we have the Demo 02 postcards, which is still very incomplete. But I do have quite- oh my god. <laughs> uh, I wish you guys could hear what I was saying in the original video, I was so stupid. <laughs> and then we have the positive photo cards. Which always make me feel so nostalgic because it reminds me of when I first started collecting. It was my first complete collection. So that's very cute. And then we have thumbs up. I can't turn it the other way because of my new setup. So yeah, you're just going to have to look at them like this. <laughs> I did try putting them in eye pocket sleeves, but it didn't work out. Anyways, genius. Um, yeah, genius is the same old, same old. It's also complete. Those are custom sleeves, and they're pushed up because I found them annoying when they were just moving all over the place. Moving on to summer, I do talk about the weird ridges and how the new photo cards from this new era are also pretty weird. Um, but I like them, they're unique, you know? Then we have the postcard and this weird ass lighting change that I absolutely hate, but I don't know what the fuck, how to fix it. So yeah, the postcards are also complete. And then the stickers also complete so summer's done and then we have the black hall which these pre-order cards are going to be the death of me oh yeah i talk about the little yin and filler right there it's not an official obviously photo card but he totally belonged in this era so i just made like little fillers i was talking about how these pre-order cards really changed my perspective and how i collect and why i collect they really stressed me the hell out Anyways, moving on, we have the matte upside version, which is complete. Oh yeah, I'm showing the K-Town for you pre-order card. What the hell was I talking about? Why is this taking so long? I was like speeding through the first section and now I'm like so slow here. <laughs> Hello, flip the page! Oh my god. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Finally, okay. Then we have um I don't even know what this is. Upside selfie version. I love these cards. These are some of my favorite cards. Look at Yen and he blends in so perfectly. And then we have pre-orders for the downside. What, what am I doing? <laughs> oh god, this is so... This, oh my god. Okay, then we have downside matte. 
I love that page. The colors are so pretty. And then we have downside selfies, which are also some of my favorite cards. We have the stickers. And then this is my new section for the new era. And the fillers do look terrible. They are literally a disgrace to the photo card collecting community, but they're just meant to be a placeholder. So yeah, let's not mind that. <laughs> And here I go again talking, oh, what the fuck was I talking about? I honestly, I don't know. But yeah, I'm really excited for this new era and I did measure the photo cards so they should fit in nine pocket sleeves and someone else told me in a group chat that they did. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they will fit in nine pocket sleeves and I have enough for the Make Star and for the K-Town For You pre-order cards. So then right here, this eight pocket sleeve is for the scratch cards which is eight and then these these two bucket sleeves are going to be for the bookmark stuff because i didn't have bookmark sleeves and then the four pocket sleeves are for the stickers which is i think two sets of eight so i might need another <laughs> thing um then we're moving on to units so units hasn't changed i did get that new hui card that i pointed at but that's about it um yeah units Triple H and Zogoling have stayed the same for pretty much the whole time. Cool, and then I'll show you my Pentagon non-album stuff. So we're gonna start off with Hui's more rare stuff, like his broadcast cards and special event stuff. So I do collect Hui because he is my old bias. I also collect Hyojun, and I recently started collecting Yinan because he wasn't in two of the eras so i just started collecting him as well and i have hui's little signed postcard right there and i have some stuff from the fan club kit first gen i never know what to call those things but yeah those pictures are really pretty i love his hair like that and then we have the second fan meeting pictures because purple hui is superior then this section is like the other stuff I just have Hui separate. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have Hyojun stuff at the top, and then I have some random other things at the bottom. For example, I have Gino's SM the Val the Ballad card. <laughs> oh my god, I can't ever say that. Yeah, but he looks so tiny and so cute. I had to get this card. It's so cute. And um right there in the empty spot i had my membership thing i don't know if i'm gonna show it or not um i think i do show it but i had to take it out because it had like some numbers yeah and my name so i took it out but that's usually where i put that and then on the next page i have some of the yin and stuff that i said i started collecting and honzuk's mix and match card as well here we have more stuff from the second fan meeting we have yin and postcards and a group postcard very cute i really love this snack concept <laughs> it was very cute anyways then we have more of the first fan club kit and these pictures are so pretty they're some of my favorite group pictures so i'm really happy that i was able to get these and here i go again talking a lot i don't know what the hell i'm motioning it to <laughs> um okay flip the page please <laughs> We have more photo cards from the first fan club kit. Then we have some thumbs up lenticulars. Very funny, very cute. We have thumbs up film strips. And then we have the genius postcards, which I love. Oh my god, it's out of frame. Okay, well, I moved it in frame. Thank god. Um, the VIP badge. Some random bits and those stickers. That's from japanese happiness album prism polaroids i took them out of the custom sleeves that i had for them because those custom sleeves were like really disgusting like crunchy i don't know how to explain <laughs> crunchy they were just really gross i didn't like them so i switched them <laughs> then we have the season's greetings i did finally put the season's greetings stuff together because i did have them separate but now i put them together and i filled in the extra space with Gino's concert goods. Um, those are some of the cutest Polaroids ever. I really miss Gino so much. Ah. Um, I also got some of his tickets 
which are very cute. I really love those tickets. And then we have some stuff from the third fan club kit, third gen, which is actually the one that I was able to join. And I really love this concept. It's so cute and fresh and fun. Very much Pentagon. I love it. Those stickers are so cute too. And then we have Pentagon On Air merch, which is from their most recent online concert, which I was able to join. It was so much fun. I really, I really enjoyed that. And these, these um, concert goods are so pretty. Like I really love those postcards. So yeah, we're done with this non-album stuff. So this is my girl group section. So I do collect Pentagon and the girls, the girls and the gays. <laughs> um, we have CLC and Idol in my girl group section. And for CLC, I collect my top three, which is Yen, Sorn, and Sunghee. And for Idol, I collect Soyoung. So yeah, first we have Sorn. We have some of her bookmark stuff. I do have this organized by age, so I don't have any sunky stuff. That's why Soren is first. And then we have Ian's bookmark stuff. So then on this page, we have um, their free SM cards and their black dress cards. Um, I have completed Soren's. I'm just missing Sunghee and Yen for free SM. And then I'm almost done with their black dress stuff as well. I do have Yen on the way, so I should be almost done with the black dress stuff. Heck yes. And then we have the number one stuff, which is all complete. I have all the three girls that I collect. And then we have the helicopter pilot cards, which I'm just missing some keys. Um, I had to put it in these sleeves because the pilot cards don't fit in nine pocket sleeves. So yeah. The number ones do, but they're tight. So then this section here is my helicopter stuff from their newest era. And I do plan on collecting the Make Star pre-order cards, not the Cape Town for You ones. Um, and then we have the stickers, which I do plan on collecting all the members. So far I have four, which is very cute. And then we have my idol section, which is, which I just collect so young. She's my bias. I am a trash for female rappers. <laughs> so I'm actually pretty much done with her stuff. I just need a couple more cards. I know it looks pretty empty, but I have a lot of stuff for her on the way. Um, yeah, those four over there don't fit in my pocket sleeves, so I put them in there. Then right here in this section, I have like some group cards. And then we have Dumdy Dumdy. Um, it's almost complete. Um, I'm just missing one of the pre-order cards. And I'm thinking about getting Megstar, but I don't know yet. So that's it for my girl group section and then we have this section here which i know you're wondering what happened to the other cards they're right there um this is my retired photo card section i don't know what to call it but yeah i'm just not gonna actively collect these members anymore i still love them but i just i'm not focused on them right now so yeah they're, they're in my retired section um so yeah that was the end of the video i'm super sorry if this is really awkward i've never done a voiceover before but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.